Recently, we saw the importance of signs and symbols used in the Holy Qurbana. Also, we briefly saw different types of liturgical signs and symbols, namely places, individuals, objects, sacred vestments, gestures and body postures. In this video, we are going into detail about the first type, that is places in the church, their names and their meanings. The church as a building. The church as a building is considered as a temple of God. This is where the faithful gather together to worship and experience God. It also represents the universal Catholic church into which all men are called to be in communion with. According to our Eastern tradition, the church is built in the east-west direction so that the faithful can pray facing the east. For the scripture says, For as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 27. The church has three important divisions or structures the sanctuary, the kestroma, and the haikala. The sanctuary, or madhubaha. Sanctuary is the holiest place. This is located at the very eastern end of the church. This is the holy of holies and symbolizes the heavenly Jerusalem and reveals the glorious presence of the most holy trinity. The sanctuary is built three steps higher than the kestroma. The sanctuary is usually protected with a veil or curtain that reminds us of the supremacy and sanctity of the place. No one is seen at the sanctuary without sufficient reason except the priest. The altar. Altar is at the center of the sanctuary. The presence of the altar is what makes the sanctuary the holiest place. The divine mysteries are celebrated on the altar. The altar symbolizes the throne of the Holy Trinity, the tomb of Christ, Golgotha, sacrificial altar, the ladder leading to heaven, table of the banquet, etc. The Trinitarian presence of the altar is signified by placing the gospel at the right side and the martoma sliva on the left side, that is Jesus Christ who is the word of God on the right and the Holy Spirit on the left with the Father's presence at the middle. The Beskesas The word Beskesa means treasury. The Beskesas are located on either sides of the altar. Bread and wine are arranged on each side of the Betzkezas for preparation of the sacrificial offerings. The priest carrying the sacrificial offerings to the altar for the offertory takes us to Christ himself carrying the cross to Calvary where he is to be offered as the sacrificial lamp for the sins of the whole world. The Kestroma the Kestroma is located three steps below the sanctuary and one step above the Haikala. This is where the altar servers stand. This connects both the sanctuary, which represents heaven, and Haikala, which represents earth. The part of the Kestroma where the choir stands is separated with railings. The Bema. Bema is located either in the middle of the Haikala or adjacent to the Kestroma. Bema is where the liturgy of the word is celebrated. On the center of Bema is kept a holy cross and candles on each side of the cross representing the Old and the New Testament. Bema is a symbol of the earthly paradise. Christ came down from heaven taking the form of a servant and preached and gave to us the way. For this reason, Gospels are read at the Bema, symbolizing Christ's public ministry and the Church's teaching authority on behalf of Christ. The Haikala The Haikala is located one step below the Kestroma. 
This is the area that accommodates the faithful. The Haikala symbolizes the earth. The faithful are oriented towards the sanctuary. This represents our journey to the heavenly Jerusalem. Haikala also represents the narrow gate through which everyone has to pass through because Christ said that the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life and those who find it are few. Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 There are also some other important places that need to be mentioned apart from the aforesaid three divisions. The Tabernacle Tabernacle is a place where the Holy Eucharist is stored usually for Holy Communion outside Kurbana, usually for the sick and in instances of immediate danger. The Holy Eucharist is also stored for the purpose of adoration. It shows the continuous presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 the Bet Sahade. This is the place where the relics of martyrs are kept for public veneration. This is generally arranged at the right side of the sanctuary. The Baptismal Font. The Baptismal Font is located just outside the sanctuary on the right side. It is placed close to the altar to highlight the deep bond between the Holy Eucharist and sacrament of baptism. This represents the womb of the church. This is where Christians are born. This is close to the altar, which suggests that the Christians born at the baptismal font are to grow in holiness by receiving the food from the altar, which is Holy Eucharist. The Sacristy. This is where the priests and deacons put on their sacred vestments and prepare for the Holy Kurbana. This is also the place where the sacred vessels, lectionaries, taksa, and books of blessings and other prayers are kept. Now that we have seen different places in the church, their purpose and some of their symbolic meanings, we will move on to the next type of signs and symbols which will be individuals involved in the Qurbana and their meanings and importance, but that will be for another video. 